Freshly ground coffee can completely change your perspective on what a good cup of coffee really is. To truly experience the gift of fresh coffee, though, you have to know how much to grind it. In this video, I'm going to show you what the ideal grind size is for your favorite brewing method. French Press A coarse grind is best for a French press. By sticking with a coarse grind, you take advantage of all the French press has to offer without the negatives. Since this method involves immersion, all of the coffee will be saturated throughout the brew time. That means you want a larger grind so it isn't over-extracted. The coarse grind also allows you to filter the coffee when plunging without letting lots of fines sneak by. That leads to silty coffee and a stiff grimace for the last sip of the muck. AeroPress The beauty of the AeroPress is that its unique design allows for versatility in brewing. The thick paper filter is capable of keeping out both fine and coarse grounds, so you can experiment with your brewing. A good place to start is with a medium grind, somewhere between sea salt and table salt. This will allow you to brew for a couple of minutes, and the plunging won't be too difficult. You can also go for a short brew if you use a fine grind. For a medium coarse to coarse grind, you can brew between 3 to 5 minutes. The grind size you choose will affect the flavor, of course, but it will also affect how much pressure you need to plunge the coffee. The finer the grind, the more pressure required. This will, in turn, affect the flavor and body of the coffee as well. Pour over coffee. A medium fine grind is a good starting point for pour over coffee. For most cone shaped pour overs like Hario V60, Kalita Wave, and Bee House, medium fine is the best setting to start experimenting with. Brew in the middle, then test your results. If your coffee is too sour, you're under extracted, which means you'll want a finer grind. If it is too bitter, on the other hand, you should try a coarser grind. Chemex A medium coarse grind works great in a Chemex brewer. A medium coarse grind allows the Chemex to keep your flow rate steady, which should give you a brew time of around 3.5 to 4.5 minutes. If it is faster than that, you should try a slightly finer grind. If it is slower, you might need to go just a bit more coarse. Automatic Drip Machines A medium grind works well for most automatic drip machines. The shape of the filter and filter basket affect how long the water takes to pass through the coffee. The cone shape means less time, thus the finer grind. With the flat bottom, your coffee will be immersed in water for longer, so a medium grind is a good start. As with other methods, you'll want to experiment, especially since the grind size is one of the few variables you can control in a drip machine. Cold Brew Coffee An extra coarse grind is best for cold brew coffee. As the brew method with the longest extraction time, cold brew coffee does not require as much surface area to fully extract flavor from the grounds. If you try to brew cold brew with a fine grind, you'll end up with a bitter, over-extracted result, even though you're using cold water. Mocha Pot A fine grind is best for a mocha pot. Since the brew time is relatively short, you want a fine grind to properly extract all those wonderful flavors from your coffee. If you find that it's on the bitter side, try a little more coarse the next brew. Like with pour-overs, there are many different manufacturers and models of mocha pot, so you'll want to experiment with your own to find the sweet spot. Espresso A fine grind is best for espresso. Without a fine grind in your porta filter, you won't be able to build up the necessary pressure to pull a proper shot. You also want that fine grind because the brew time is so short. You need maximum surface area to fully extract the coffee in such a short time. Percolator A coarse grind is best for a percolator brew. To get a decent result, you'll want to use a coarse grind because the filtration system in a percolator is not fine. This will help minimize the floaters and extra residue at the bottom of your cup. Turkish coffee An extra fine grind is needed for Turkish coffee. The quick brew time and bold, sludgy nature of Turkish coffee means you'll need the finest grind possible. With Turkish, you're accepting that a clean cup is not the goal, so there's no need to worry about fines or filters. Vacuum Coffee Makers A medium grind works well for siphon and vacuum brewing. You should expect an extraction time of around 3 minutes. That means that a medium grind is a good starting point. And since these setups typically use a paper filter, you won't have to worry about fines sneaking through to give you a silty cup. With so many variables involved in brewing great coffee, it can feel a bit overwhelming at times. 
Fortunately, achieving a proper grind size will set the rest of your process up for success. It's also one of those variables that involves endless tinkering, especially as you take more control over the brewing process. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks!